Hello fellas, I hope you guys are having a good day and finding things to entertain you. I, uh, I'm having a good day. Here's what I'm up to today. I have the day off work and I've got my yard chores done. I'm mowing and, and uh, weed eating and all that good stuff. And this morning I put an ad on Facebook Marketplace uh, for a truck load of wood for sale. Uh, eight foot box on my old hunting truck for $100 plus delivery. And uh, I already had some inquiries. I got a, a real good neighbor lives over here only a mile that said he wanted two cords of wood. How much would I want for it? And what kind of wood did I have? When was it cut? Uh, how seasoned is it? And uh, not to do too much talking here, but a lot of this back behind me is a mixture of maple, uh, mulberry, hackberry, and uh, other than in the middle of the pile, the oldest of it is in, in February and March that I cut it and split it. And so I was just honest and upfront with him and told him it was semi-seasoned. Uh, it didn't have a year of seasoning on it or nothing. I thought it probably burned pretty decent this winter, but you know, it is what it is and be honest uh, about when it was cut. And uh, he said he'd come over and look at it and wanted to know how much I wanted for it. And uh, so if it's a hundred bucks, for an eight foot pickup load box, uh, but I wanna give him a fair neighbor price and he's real close, which is easy for me. How much would you guys charge per cord or for two cords? This is, this is my honest question to you. I don't know if, I'll have to look up what the square footage of a cord is, you know, and I'm not sure, you know, and figure out if you can get a hundred bucks for a pickup box, which, you know, for a neighbor discount, somebody close, I'd probably be willing to take 75 80 for a pickup box well what's that translate into in a cord uh, so that's my question how much would you guys charge for a cord of firewood keep it in mind i can get about a hundred bucks for a pickup box load with an eight foot box and then uh what i'm doing right here now is i had another lady message me and she's in sioux city which is about 20 miles from here that's our big city that we go to for our groceries and our shopping and she wants a pickup load box tonight. I told her a hundred bucks plus delivery, so it's going to be a hundred and thirty dollars. Uh, but I got to deliver it up there twenty miles. So how how much would you guys charge this neighbor? You think uh, for a cord per cord of wood, knowing he might want two, and it's only a mile away, nice and close and easy. Plus he's a good neighbor and a good man that's given me other uh, jobs and work before that I can do for him. Uh, he owns his own real estate company, so it's it's good to get along good with the neighbors, you know. Uh, but, uh, so anyway, let me show you my wood that I'm going to split here for this other lady that i got to deliver tonight, and I'll, I'll show you what I'm up to. Now this, these are big chunks of maple that I put here probably in February or March, and they're, they're big wood boiler type chunks. And the lady that wants firewood... Uh, and I'm not claiming these are perfectly seasoned or any of that. The ad said semi-seasoned, but I'm pretty sure they'll burn by now for campfire wood. I'm not claiming they're the most efficient or nothing, but uh, I'm going to re-split these into smaller pieces. That way I feel more comfortable selling them to the lady that she's got nice little pieces or reasonably small that she can use. She measured her outdoor fire pit that she wants to burn these in, and she said she can take a 20-inch piece which most of these are, are more like 16 inches or so, a lot of them. And I'm going to split them even, you know, into smaller chunks so they'll be nice for her. And I'm trying to kill two birds with one stone because uh, my poor stacking methods, you can see i got a weed bed growing over here between my fence and between my garden of tomatoes that's on the other side. So if I split some of this firewood out of here, it's my hope that I can uh, get them weeds knocked down and clean up my place a little better plus make some money selling firewood so let's get the old uh, Easton made fired up here and I want to see if I can split it and throw it right in the back of my old pickup truck thanks for watching fellas
quite a bit lighter than than you know normally it does when you cut it so that means uh, it should be fairly getting fairly dry and I want it in smaller nicer pieces like this for the lady so I feel good about selling it to her I think it's a lady at least her profile picture looks like a lady but in today's modern day and world where you just message each other who knows maybe it's really a guy and I'm calling him a lady but I think it's a lady Well, fellas, that took me probably a half hour or so. I'm not claiming that's the most efficient means to do it or nothing, but I think this is where I'm going to call it. It's, uh, it's about level full. And let me show you what I used up of my wood along the fence here. Here's that pile along the fence. So we weighed into it some, but not too much. But uh, that's what I got. We'll see how it goes uh, tonight when I deliver it to the lady Ho hopefully it's a real person and not some fictitious uh, Facebook thing um, if this don't work out I'll be having to talk on the phone next time rather than Facebook messenger ads but uh, anyway thanks for watching fellas and I'll see you next time